Hi guys, Charity Shop Gold or Garbage. Uh, this is take two because I've already tried this and the video didn't work the first time. Uh, bought this in the charity shop and as you can see I've already unpackaged it in the first video shot. It's a balloon powered hover jet. Um, very simple principle. You attach a balloon to the top of this the air goes through, comes out the bottom, and it goes along on a cushion of air. Uh, quite a clever adaption of a toy that quite a few of us may have made already. I've certainly made some. Use a CD, a bottle top, attach a balloon to the top, the air blows out the bottom, and the CD goes along on a cushion of air. The difference between that and this is this one's got tracks on the bottom of it to direct the air straight back so it should go in a straight line so we'll try it out and we'll compare it to one I'll make from the balloon the bottle top and the CD and just for variation I'll also make one out of this old vinyl record so I've got plenty of these bottle tops. These are the ones that you can push in and out to open and close them. Don't really need to use that mechanism, but it's a handy shape to put the balloon neck on and it'll hold it in place. So I'll do that. I'll try super glue to glue this one onto here. And I'll use hot glue to glue this one onto here, just for a bit of variation. So first thing we need to do, these tend to have a bit of a rough edge around the bottom. So I've got a bit of sandpaper here, I'll just smooth it. Okay, so we'll super glue that one onto there. We'll hot glue onto there. Leave that one to dry. There's my hot glue coming on. Oh, yep, yeah, that's alright. Let that one cool down as well. Okay, ready to test them. The kit, you've got a removable nozzle. Put the balloon on there and then stick it into the top and let it go. On these, you can either blow the balloon up and then try and get it over the nozzle, or you can put the balloon over the nozzle and blow it up through the hole on the bottom. That's all right as long as your floor's reasonably clean. Because once you've had this running on the floor a few times, you can have all the dirt off the floor. So I'll do that the first time. <laughs> but just a word of warning that if your floor's dirty, you're going to pick up all the dirt and you're going to get that on your mouth then. So you're better off trying to blow it up and then squeeze it over. Okay, we'll try them out. Okay, I've blown it up. I'll give it a twist to hold the air in it, push it on top and let it go, or at least I will let it go, I twisted it too hard, oh, that is going in the direction, it's pointing more or less. test this one now. One thing you need to be careful when you open the nozzle you need to hold the top in place because if you just pull it you'll probably pull it straight back off the CD. So I'll put the balloon over the nozzle There we 
go. And I'll blow it up. So that one works. If you give them a little push, they shoot across the floor anyway, because they're cushioned on air. Right, we'll try the vinyl record now. So, same thing. Not quite so successful. And I think the reason it's not quite so successful, it's got a smaller hole on the bottom and the air's coming out slower. It's still on a cushion of air, so it still slides around. But it's not quite as free running as the other one was. Or I could try a bigger balloon. No, bigger balloon isn't doing it. Right, this time I'll see if I can chase this around a bit. See if we can follow it. I'll get hold of the camera. Now we'll chase the balloon on the CD. The difference with this is we've got to give it a little push to get it going, I think, because it's got no air jets coming out the back. Again, it works fine. And I've established the problem with this one is it's really too heavy. I've enlarged the hole on the bottom and that made no difference but I've put a smaller balloon on it so it's lighter and it goes a little bit better but I think the answer is too big too heavy I'll blow it up anyway so it's actually a smaller balloon still works, same principle, but doesn't work quite as well because it's a bit too heavy. So there we go. Charity Shop Gold. I've no idea how much these would cost brand new, but it certainly worked fine and it cost me 99 pence. CD with a bottle top works fine. Vinyl Record with the bottle top not quite so good because it's a bit heavy. But there we go, job done.